Hello, Sean. My name is Jose with Optimum Digital Solution. Recently, one of my team members reached out to you guys in regards to me making a quick video showing you guys how to beat your competition online. Before I head into that topic, I just want to answer a question that's probably in mind right now, which is why exactly am I recording this video? Well, the answer is pretty simple. A lot of business owners spend a lot of time running and managing their business where they don't really have the time to learn about lead generation or digital marketing as a whole. And secondly, when you guys decide to outsource this type of work to digital marketing companies or web design companies, a lot of these companies don't really provide the full value they should when it comes to helping your business grow. And I found out by doing these short videos, it helps business owners determine who's an expert and who's not. And if by the end of this video, you guys and if by the end of this video you guys are AOZ, we love what you showed us, help us with this. Feel free to let me know and I'll be more happy to chat with you guys to make sure I can help you guys with your business goals. Or if not, you guys can totally do this on your own. I'm totally okay with that. The purpose of this video is for education purposes. So let's get started with this video. So the three topics we talk about today will be content, backlinks, and business citations. So when it comes to content, Google likes to see between 1,500 words to 2,000 words of content on your homepage. I did notice you guys are a nationwide company. So what I recommend for you guys in order to generate the most amount of clients for certain areas so in this case, I found you guys by looking up roofing companies in Texas. So you want to make sure you have individual back pages for each city in order to maximize your results when it comes to generating clients in each of those areas. So let's pretend this is your back page for Texas and Arizona. You want to make sure you have between 1,500 words to 2,000 words of content on your homepage. And the second thing you want to have in there is highly searched keywords like roofing companies, Texas. So I'll show you right here. This is a tool I use. It's a it's called Airs.com. It's a pay to use tool. You guys are more than welcome to look it up. So according to this tool, roofing company Texas, it's one of the most searched term among people searching roofing services in Texas, Arizona. Let's try another one real quick. Real quick. Here's another one. Roofing Texan has an average search volume of 200. So you get the idea. You want to have those keywords in your content in order where, where it allows Google to call your website and helps you be found for those keywords. Let's take a look at your competition to see if they have those keywords. So let's see real quick. Tuxin. So they have Tuxin here. Not really a keyword. Roofing and Tuxin. There you go. Let's look for other ones. Roofing and Tuxin. Commercial Roofing and Tuxin. Tuxin Roofing. Company Tuxin. Roofing Company Tuxin. Roofer and Tuxin, Roofing Company Tuxin. So you get the idea of what I mean to stuff your keywords in your content. So, it looks, as you can see too, this website has a good amount of content on their homepage. Definitely helping them get ranked on the first page of Google. Here's your other competitor, West Coast Roofing AZ. They are number six in Google. And let's see if they have any highly searched keywords like I was talking about. So, Yeah, Tuxin Roofing Contractor. So you get the idea. Next will be backlinks. So to put it in simple terms, a backlinks is a pretty much a popularity contest. The more you have, the higher the trust Google has with you. So backlinks are links that are put on other websites that refer back to yours. So let's go back to your areas and let's take a look at your competitor stats. So USA bestroofing.com, which is this website that we just seen. So USS USA Best Roofing has a ranking of 53 million. They have a URL rating of 19. The main rating of 1.6. They have 35 backlinks coming from 20 different websites. And they're currently ranking for 155 keywords. And they're generating about 110 traffic per month. Your other competitor, on the other hand, they're ranking 28 million. They have a URL rating of 27. They have the main rating of 6. They have 314 backlinks coming from 57 different websites, and they're currently ranking for 443 keywords, and they're generating about 603 organic traffic per month. Imagine what this can do to your business, having this extra traffic come to your website, and potentially having those leads as customers. Let's take a look at real quick which keywords are ranking for. So, roofing contractors, Texans, they're generating about 73 per month. Roofing repair, Texans, they're generating about 37. So. Looking at your competitor's stats is a good way to minimize your time when it comes to research. So if you guys want to do that, simply just go put their website here. 
click on the organic keywords and that's going to help you save time with your research. And lastly, let's look at yours real quick. You have a ranking of 45 million, you have a 20, URL of 21, the rating of 2.3, 87 backlinks come from 27 different websites, and then you're ranking for 27 keywords and you're generating about 90 per month. And the last topic we'll be talking about is business citations. So let's look up this keyword real quick of roofing tuxin. So when you look up the keyword roofing tuxin, the first thing you see is the ask section, which a lot of times people skip nowadays because people have ad blockers in their phones or in on their computer. So I don't really recommend going with the ad section, but going with the ad section. So over here is the Google Map Pack section, which is really great for people who just want to get the service done right away. They need like roofing services like now. So how exactly can you rank on the top three of Google Maps? Well, there are many influential factors, but to keep this video short, I'll be going over the most influential, which is business citation. So what exactly is a business citation? So a business citation is a listing put in a directory like Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, etc. that has your business name, business address, and business phone number. So how exactly can you be your competition in ranking here? So what I do is I use a tool called whyspark.ca and I look up which directories my competition is using currently and I put listings in those directories plus I look for new ones which as a result leads me to be near my competition. Alrighty Shauna, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to message me and if you have any questions about my company, this is my company website, which is Optimum. This is my company website, which is Optimum Digital Solutions. Feel free to visit it. And like I said, if you have any feedback, I'll greatly appreciate it. And thanks for watching. You have a good day, okay? Bye-bye.